few months back, I ordered my flip phone, and at first I just used this on the occasion here and there, but then I wanted to see what it'd be like to actually use it for a week straight without my iPhone. I had to transfer over a few contacts, schedule out my weekly workouts, block any and all social media platforms, text my friend to keep my snap tricks because I have a seven year streak, I'm not trying to lose that, and remove any iCloud apps, basically anything that would be distracting. I usually use my phone for my alarm, but we got an alarm clock. Let's hope it goes off. The first thing I noticed wasn't even the flip phone itself, it was more so the absence of my iPhone. No AirPods, no music, literally just the sound of this. I feel like I'm always listening to music or a podcast, especially in the mornings, so doing that, it had me embracing the silence it is. new messages this is so much more exciting on here this takes me so long to type morning it's taking me about five minutes to send like two sentences so features of this flip phone are pretty simple we got texting of course okay so for how to text someone i go here messages we got the good old calling of course i'm on a conjoined call and of course, my favorite feature, taking pictures. Taking some pics on here. It's weird because the camera's right here and that's like where your hand goes. So I have to like awkwardly have my fingers below. Till this day, I still definitely have way too much fun with that. The one thing it did not have though that I was used to was GPS. So we're gonna have to go on the computer, search up all the directions and write them down for there and back. You know how it's an automatic thing to put on your seatbelt? It's an automatic thing for me to always plug in my phone, but I got my map, so. Not having GPS was expected, but there were definitely other things that were unexpected that I didn't even think about. Like to log into my school dashboard, there's a two-step security that requires you to have a second device. So I had to call IT about that. It is not a iPhone. And they asked me questions about my account that I've written down in my notes, but I didn't have my notes either. I need a QR code to download something. Someone just sent me a link. I'm literally just gonna type this in letter by letter. And to get packages in my apartment, I need a code that was sent to my phone that I didn't have. I also just realized I don't even know this phone number. I honestly liked trying to figure everything out and Loki not having the GPS did make me more aware of where I was and it helped me learn these roads more. I didn't write the distance in between the streets, so I have really no clue when they're coming up. Before my appointment that I was heading to, I stopped at Panera to get some schoolwork done and I know it's kind of obvious, but I was just way more productive with not having my phone next to me. I've gotten so much more done, it's crazy. It's already seven o'clock and I haven't even gotten distracted with the phone or social media or anything. With social media, it's so easy to get caught up in everyone else's lives before you even check up on your own. And of course, I love seeing what cool things people are up to, but I also think it's important to not get lost in that. I'm not hating on social media. That would be not logical of me because I'm literally posting this on social media, but I'm just saying being more intentional about what you do and why you're doing it is very important. And that's something that I've been just working on. I've deleted social media here and there in the past, so I knew that wouldn't be the hardest part about doing this. The harder part for me was actually not listening to music or any noise while editing. I didn't realize how big of a difference that makes until now. My directions worked. I uh, just made it here. I feel like so much is just off of me in terms of not a lot of people are texting me, I'm kind of, which I do love texting people and calling people and whatnot, but sometimes I'm just like, it gets so distracting. But now we gotta, we gotta head back. When I was mapping this out, there was one thing I forgot about, traffic. It could be maybe 20 more minutes it'll clear up or this could be an hour. Honestly, I'm vibing either way. Being in the moment. But it actually did help me live in the moment more. I wasn't distracted by 50 things going on, who was texting, who was calling, what's going on on social media or the news. I just seemed to be really present of what was happening in my outer world as well as my inner world. And life just seemed to be a little bit slower, which led me to be more intentional with my time. And since messages take a while to type out, it also made me more intentional with who I was talking to. I've never used abbreviations more than now. 
It makes text more meaningful, I think. And I like calling more. It makes it more genuine. Also, I don't know what it was about calling people on here, but it was so much fun and it made me enjoy phone calls a lot more. Like, a lot more. So you can continue this conversation via text? No, thank you. Okay, sounds good. Yay. I feel so, like, professional with this. <laughs> Not professional, but it feels like a little, like, business meeting and being, like, like that. Honestly, the first few days of all this weren't bad at all, and I think it's just because I'm content with my inner world within myself. I can sit alone in my thoughts and be fine. I don't need to be stimulated by 50 million things at once, and I think it's because of just where I am in life at this point. If I did this in high school, for example, it would be a completely different story, and I'd probably have major FOMO and probably would have given up by now. Whenever I eat dinner, I'm usually watching something on YouTube. And after dinner, it's usually when I like go on social media and check how my interviews did for the day or like whatever. So I just got like my first like urge, I guess, to use my phone, but we're not gonna use my phone. I think just keeping myself busy also just doesn't make me want to go my phone. And this week my internship was remote, so I definitely was keeping myself busy still, but it was definitely an adjustment with communicating to everyone. <laughs> they were probably like, what the fuck, why is she using a flip phone? But Throughout the week, I definitely gained more confidence driving without directions. I'm not going to write this one down. I'm really going to try to study this, memorize it, and see if I can do it. I made it! with no confusion or hassle at all. That was great. I picked up on some habits I've been slacking off, like reading, and I also had a lot of time to think. Maybe a little too much. You're literally just coming from this device. Like, how does that work? I'm editing a video of me editing a video. I will be editing this video. Me editing a video, editing a video. Am I going delusional or what? No, but actually, I think I was going a little delusional. This was over the summer, so none of my roommates were home. I wasn't really talking to that many people, and I was just in my own little bubble when I just had a flip phone. It is 8 o'clock, which means it has officially been one week that I have not used my phone, and first thing that I will say is one, I'm proud of myself, and two, my mental state is so good right now. And here we go. Oh my gosh, my phone feels ginormous. God, one of my friends told me they started a podcast a week ago and I'm responding just now. It has been a great experience and I definitely want to do something again like this and somehow implement me using my flip phone more often. As much as I do love my little flip phone, I realize it's not sustainable to be using every single day, but there are a few things that I did learn from doing this little challenge that I've now implemented in my everyday life. The first thing I actually implemented was using a real alarm clock and not my phone. Second thing was limiting when I'm actually using my phone throughout different times of the day. For me, I wake up at 5.30. I don't want to be touching my phone for at least like two or three hours, so I go work out, I do my thing, I come home, and I still have about like 45 minutes to to read or work on projects before I see what everyone else is doing or who needs my attention with calls or text messages. In the mornings, I usually wait around till 8 a.m. to go on my phone and then at night, I usually don't touch it after 9 p.m. This has been game changer for me, but of course, it's not always perfect. There are gonna be days where I don't follow this and that's okay. This is supposed to be something that's helpful, not something that's supposed to be perfect every single day of my life. In terms of the actual flip phone, I definitely still use it. I usually bring it with me on hikes if I'm going alone or if I'm going to the beach and don't wanna bring my phone. And again, talking about our inner world, this just makes it very quiet when I'm in nature and I don't wanna bring my phone there. My main reasoning behind all this is simply I don't want other circumstances or other people controlling how I feel about myself because I really think your inner mind, your inner state, and your inner body is going to shape how you see the world around you. And if you don't take care of that, especially in the morning, it just throws you off. And for me, it just throws me off. And this is something that Bob Proctor talks about of how you can't let the outside world control you. The law of the animal kingdom is adapt or die. If you let the outside world control you, 
And some small things that I've been doing is just logging out of my personal Instagram account throughout the weekdays and then giving myself like a Sunday to go on Instagram, post what I've been doing or see what cool things that people are creating as well as I've been calling people a lot more. Using the flip phone, I had so much fun calling people so I'm realizing the simple importance of calling people. So next time you pick up your phone or you're going on social media or you're texting someone, just think about why you're doing it and just being more intentional. That's something that I'm continuously working on. It's never gonna be a stopping point. It's a continual thing I'm gonna be working on, but I think it's a good thing just to raise your awareness about. But thank you guys so much for taking the time to watch this video and I'll see y'all soon, bye.